Oh, girl. Girl, girl, girl. Hope. My love. Oh, my goodness. I feel for you. She is so pregnant. Just extremely. So I just finished shooting a video that will go out soon. And I'm shooting another one that will be scheduled for later. We're actually getting ready to leave for a camping trip. So by the time this video get, goes up, we'll be home. I don't, I don't typically talk about it when we go out of town ahead of time. Hey Freya. Hope is so close. Mm -hmm. So it's never a really good time to go out of town when you have a farm. Um, there are challenges about leaving really at any point during the year because like we keep animals in milk year round. Um, obviously there are times in the summer where being away from the garden for just a few days, things can get really out of hand. But we do have a really great support system that whenever we wanna go out of town, no matter what time of year it is. Uh, we don't we don't typically travel a whole lot during peak season, but that's where a lot when a lot of the homesteading conferences are. So weirdly, like whatever it's the conferences to get together to talk about homesteading is kind of one of the less great times to leave the homestead, but we go anyway. Uh, but we have we have a great support system. We have people that come and stay at our house to keep everything taken care of and multiple people that come out and do like dairy animals. I've got some friends that are milking goats. We've got another friend that milks the cows. So it, it, takes a, it takes a group, but we work it out. And we've had this camping trip planned with our supper club friends, I mean, for a while now and months. And of course, it looks like Hope's probably gonna have her baby while we're gone, naturally. This has been a trend. It seems like I miss all the births and I'm not gone that much. It just works out that way. You've never missed a birth when you were the one giving birth. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that reassurance. I made sure I was present for the ones that were, you know, coming out of my own body. <laughs> there we go. It's something. You yeah. didn't miss any of those. Yeah, at least. Hello, goats. Hello, goats. Good morning. Yesterday morning, um, we had the farrier come out to take care of all the horses' feet. And... Um, so when I, when I got out here in the morning to milk, I got the kids to school and I walked out here and Wes was out here and he'd already gotten all the horses into the stalls. And my goats were not having it. They, they are so scared of the horses. I mean, they were in stalls, it wasn't, but with any sort of animal, routine is so important. And they're so good at their routine, but you throw one thing off and they're just completely suspicious about everything. Yesterday milking, I brought my camera out here. I did not film a single thing because it was kind of chaotic because they were so freaked out. Um, just because the horses were in the barn and they're not usually. We must accommodate the suspicious goats. <laughs> so our like family time of choice, what we do to be able to go on vacation while having the farm is that we primarily go we take our RV and we go camping. And what we do some of the time to be able to manage that is we actually will just go really close to our house. We live in the Midlands of South Carolina. There's a lot of great lakes around here. And we'll just go park the RV, um, take the kids. So the kids get to experience like spending a weekend on the lake or a week on the lake. And uh, we just drive home and take care of the farm. And uh, what we don't have covered by people, we can just come back and do. And we're, we just stay close enough that we can do that, you know, like 30 minute drive. It's not ideal, but I mean, having, when you put this much work in things, it's kind of like what I was talking about on my last video, which I just shot this morning. You know, when the greenhouse gets to this point of the year and you've got to maintain it, you've put a ton of work into that. And so when you put a lot of work into growing things, raising animals, it's, it's not really worth it to you to travel much and go away from them because you could lose a lot of investment in a short period of time and not being there to care for things. Now, we do have a great support system, which is awesome, which allows us to have time with our family, but a lot of our time is kind of like 
I mean, it's still quality time. It's still restful. It's still fun to go to the lake. It's, the kids still enjoy it, even if it's not six hours from the house. If it's not, you know, a big trip, they're still getting the experience of camping. But we love taking the RV because we get to take all our food. Uh, we get to do a lot of cooking. It's really fun. And so today, obviously I have to milk and I've got to do like the bare minimum to take care of the plants and everything. But um, I've got to get all of our stuff packed in the RV. I've been working this week on doing food prep for the weekend and um, I've just got to get it all together and ready to go by this afternoon. Wit. Did you know what was coming for you? Did you? <laughs> are you excited? Wit, are you excited? trying to be mindful while I do my chores today that like everything is ready for my friends who are milking for me to like come in and not have to troubleshoot like I'm opening the bales of hay and making sure the feed is restocked and it's as smooth as possible for them. When I'm leaving to go anywhere like this trip I am the worst about the day of being like oh I should make this and I should make that and I should do all of these things from scratch. I mean I only have four hours but surely I could just have superhuman speed and strength and create all this stuff and I have to be like come on rain it in sour. It's, <laughs> it's a lot to get five sons all and I mean granted my kids are getting to the point that they help a lot. Uh, you know I mean I've got man-sized children and they contribute a lot but even still like planning and getting everything together to go that's a that's a day's work in itself I'm taking a few gallons of cow's milk I'm gonna take one gallon of goat's milk I don't think that I'll need that much but I'm just gonna take it I overpack I take way too much food so a little Christmas Carol is getting big you know, Freya, she is the highest producing cow that we've had of all of our cows. She's giving about four gallons in the morning. And then of course she has the calf on her in the evening. So I'm really excited to have a heifer from her because I think it's gonna be really great. We're kind of wanting to gear towards a less demanding breed than jerseys. And that was the idea of crossing them with a Devon because we could potentially get some family milkers that could be supported more on grass. And I'd really love it if Hope had a heifer because she's got the really high production also, but she also has these like crazy huge handle sized teats. So she's really easy to hand milk. And she's a big cow. Like she's, she's the biggest of all of them. Helen's the next. And I mean, Hope's significantly larger than Helen. So the idea with that being that if she throws a bull calf, they're still pretty good raised for the freezer i'd really i'm really hoping to get a heifer out of hope which so far this year every calf that Bo has sired has been a heifer um there was christmas carol which she was technically born at the end of last year and then the three that have born out been born out to the beef herd have all been heifers so i'd say my chances of getting a heifer from hope are pretty good if anybody wants to wager a bet you think i'm gonna get a heifer from her also do you think that the baby's gonna be born while we're gone the next two days hey boy Hi. are you excited yeah what are we gonna do oh can i get a hug thank you we're gonna go do the jet skis and ride bikes and ride bikes cool are you packing your bike yeah, nice Goodness, Howards. You've got the fuel. Gotta keep those buns warm. <laughs> All right, y'all, we need to go in the pantry. This is our pantry building. It is insulated and has a little mini split in it. This was the project that was getting done when I was in the throes of being terribly sick. So everybody always asks if there's videos and there's not. And I haven't shot a ton of content out here because frankly, it stays 
fairly a wreck. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. I've actually spent a ton of time out here recently uh, organizing this and getting a lot of the dry goods into sealed buckets and different things. But, and my hope has been to, I was trying to organize it in such a way that I could use this space more for content because I, you know, have a freeze dryer. I've got a dehydrator, which I, I packed it up when I was moving things around, but it'll be sitting right here. And I have this table in the middle so that like whenever I wash things off in the garden, I can just bring them right in here and just cut them and put them into like the dehydrator or the freeze dryer. And the hope was to kind of keep the kitchen from becoming really overwhelming with all of the processing. I love being in the space. I've spent, I spent two full days in the last two weeks just out here. I mean, I, we pulled everything out. I've been putting lots of things back in and just trying to get everything under wraps and organized before we go into the gardening season. I feel like there's like three or four months of the year every year where it's like being on a roller coaster. You're just hanging on for dear life. Like you just, like the work is so relentless. Morning to night, there's so much that has to be done. A lot of the like tidying and organizing and all of that detailed work that requires like taking a day and really submerging, you can't really do it because you're just trying to stay on top of everything. So I was really trying to get this prepared. I probably need at least another four hours out here to like steadily plug away at it. And I can't, there's only so much I can do. I've had multiple people offer to help, but like I have to do it or else I won't know where anything is. So I'm taking several dozen eggs. Aren't these beautiful? Our eggs are just on point this year. So colorful. Let me get the older dates. We're not going for that long, but I cook for, I bring a lot of stuff and cook for people. I just like doing it. It's just, it just takes less brain power for me when I'm planning to just plan on doing things myself and have people help with like cleaning up and all of that. Um, plus, I mean, my, my family, we can eat. I got five kids like Jackson himself can eat half a dozen eggs for breakfast so I'm probably gonna take several dozen with us can we just have a moment of egg appreciation look at that isn't that beautiful all right last one look at this that's so pretty <laughs> all the layers that didn't lay a lot last year before they kind of like took a break for the winter have started laying again and so i'm seeing some eggs that i didn't really see much last year and now they're cranking them out and it makes me so happy a colorful egg basket was like my first love on the farm before i got like super into growing tons of tomatoes and stuff like that i was breeding chickens for colorful eggs having a lot of color in my eggs just makes me really excited we call our RV, his name is Irv. We've all been excited to spend the weekend with Irv. I went shopping at Costco the other day and I was just getting like the odds and ends things that we needed for this trip. And I got home and Jeremiah was out here and apparently the fridge wasn't working and Irv, and it had something to do with like the battery and the way that the thing that runs the fridge like when you're driving like when it's not plugged in there was something going on with that and anyway our friend charlie came over and he and jeremiah spent a few hours out here they got it fi figured out and working thankfully they found it early in the week not like the day we were trying to leave So the eggs don't have to be refrigerated. I just packed them in there because I think they'll be safer in transit. Cause I try to pack the fridge, even with things that don't necessarily have to be refrigerated, like eggs, unwashed fresh eggs. Obviously if you buy eggs at the store, you have to refrigerate them, but um, fruit and some different things that I don't necessarily always keep in there, but I just pack the fridge all in because we'll bungee the door shut and it just keeps the food from settling as much out there for, camping and spring break and they got an extra day off school because we wanted to leave early um just overall the energy level and our home since we got up this morning it's just everybody is so overjoyed with excitement and that blesses my heart so much this is it, it days like this i mean it takes so much work to go on trips like this but we're just so joyful 
to be able to do it. And I love knowing when we're making this investment of time and resources that like it's building the memories my kids are gonna hang on to. It's really special. All right, so we have the store-bought food out here as well as like the eggs and milk. I needed to take an inventory because I need to go back through the pantry. Um, I've got muffins and some different baked goods that will be for breakfast while we're gone. And then I have like lots of bacon and eggs. We take our Blackstone and we do a lot of cooking on that. And typically what I try to do is make like a big breakfast, have some easy grab and go stuff. I have some sandwich stuff. Um, I am gonna prep a couple of loaves of sourdough, which I've been doing long fermented sourdough and testing that out. Uh, Jeremiah and I both have tried eating it a little bit to see how we do because when you long ferment, it does eliminate a lot of the gluten. Not enough that if you have a true gluten allergy, like a lot of people, if you have an allergy, you, you wouldn't be able to have it. But if you have a, like a sensitivity to gluten, a lot of people are able to eat long fermented sourdough. And so we were at, we've actually tried that this week. I've not had any negative reactions, so that's awesome. And I'm prepping a couple of loaves that I'm gonna stick in the fridge here so that I can bake them tomorrow. So today is gonna be, I, I'm, I am reining myself in the best I can, but there is gonna be like a good deal of prep that I have to do, which means I'm going to say farewell to you all. The next video I shoot will be obviously when we're back. Since I'm filming this before we're gone and I'm posting it after we're back, I'm curious if by the time this video goes up, if Hope will have her baby. By the looks of her, I think that's a very good chance. But anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me today and all the days you do. I bless you. Until next time.